Hello everybody and welcome to VirtuMart 3 for Joomla video tutorial and today we're gonna work on the um, styling um, category category view page um, on our uh, online store and as you can see right now we have um, I opened this uh, plain t-shirts category and in this category we have um, three products and um, today I'm gonna show you how to style this page and first thing uh, we're gonna do is to style a uh, uh, name of the categories that we have here on top. Uh, it's called plain t-shirts. Um, I'm gonna show you how to change uh, uh, how you can change the font and the color of this uh, uh, name. So uh, first thing we're gonna uh, open um, the CSS file that we're gonna work with and in order to do this we're gonna go to our Joomla folder and then uh, Companions folder and then look for the Virtual Mart and Assets <coughs> CSS folder and then in folder uh, this folder we find VM um, file it's called VM uh, hyphen LTR uh, hyphen site dot CSS it's the same file that we uh, work with the previous video so let's open this file and then we need to go to uh, line uh, 224 and uh, above this line we we're gonna actually add new rule for this uh, heading that we're gonna style so let's go and type uh, selector uh, Rouse hyphen um, view view and directly to h1 uh, <coughs> and then we're gonna add a uh, font family uh, we're gonna add the same font family from previous video and then we're gonna add a uh, color in red. So let's save and go refresh this page. We'll see. Here we go. Now we have a uh, different font and with different color. So next thing we're gonna style. It's uh, we're gonna style uh, these boxes with. Uh, uh, with the uh, products inside so first thing we're gonna uh, uh, make them wider between them so this we need to go again to us uh, file and on line 224 we're gonna add a new um, property we're gonna add um, margin left and we're gonna put seven pixels between them. So let's save with them. Refresh this page. Here we go. You'll see we we have now have margin seven seven pixels between them. So next thing we're gonna do it's uh, to make it more round, uh, round borders and. Um, and we're gonna change uh, style of the border. So let's go again to the our CSS file. So first thing we're gonna change border style. So let's do pixels. We're gonna do dashed uh, type, and we're gonna color. We're gonna use dark green and. Then we're gonna add um, border radius seven pixels, and then we're gonna add um, background ground color. It will be snow, and uh, other thing we're gonna add is a shadow box shadow will be zero zero and 
and three pixels and it will be indigo color so let's save it and go back and refresh we'll see what we have oh yeah as you can see um when we add uh, shadow we overlap this uh, page so uh, how we're gonna fix it it's we're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, change um, uh, change uh, the margin left that we have here to 5 let's go back again and refresh here we go it's now it's back again so um, next thing we're gonna uh, style it's so we're gonna style action uh, behavior of the this uh, products when you hover uh, mouse over it and so it's it's gonna be uh, zooming in a little bit so let's go back to our CSS file again and here we're gonna um, create another rule so let's copy this previous and to this rule we're gonna add hover and then we gonna transform property and scale and it will be 1.1 okay let's save it and uh, let's see let's refresh it okay let's see if it's worked well now it's as you can see you c it's over when you hover it's it's give you this zoom in effect so um next thing we're gonna work it's uh, I'm gonna show you how to uh, change color of this add to car card button so let's go back again to CSS file and then we need to go to uh, line 47 and in this line uh, it's a style for our um, rule for our button so in this um, uh, rule we're gonna change um, our background color Indian red um, here's a uh, we're gonna change color of the font to gold um, border radius we're gonna change to 8 um, that's it I guess let's save it and refresh as you can see now it's different um, color and uh, different color of the font um, you can add uh, even um, if you want a bold uh, font uh, you can add um, Font bold. Save it again and refresh it. As you can see, now we have a uh, font with the bold letters. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, change uh, color style this product details um, button. So once again, let's go back to our CSS file and then we need to go to line number 50 and over here um, we can add um, the ground color let's see uh, we're gonna add dark green and color of the fonts will be lime 
and the uh, we can also add border radius and pixels and so let's save it and go again and refresh it here you go now you see it's a different green color with the lime fonts and another thing uh, we're gonna gonna show you how to change uh, colors when you hover over the product details um, button so once again we need to go to our CSS page file and then we need to go to line number 88 and over here uh, we're gonna change color of the font to the dark green we're gonna use reversed colors and we're gonna add the ground property to the lime so let's save and refresh and we'll see how it works so we'll see now you see that uh, font and color change when you hover over this and uh, this is it uh, this is main uh, style that I want to show you for the category view page and, um, and and thank you for watching this video and see you next time bye